Welcome to Game Night Tonight for another game unboxing of this game, To Call. So I picked this up not too long ago, went to the store and looked at it and it looks very similar to like the game Lost Cities, possibly um, the game Lost Ruins of Arnak. So I picked it up, it looks really good. I heard a lot of good reviews as well. So I was like, you know what, why not? Might as well give it a shot. So let's go ahead and delve right in here, see what this game is all about. So already two to four player game on the instructions it says, 60 to 90 minutes, 10 players and up. So there's gonna be a slight reading, probably strategic stuff involved as well, but you have your instructions here, a nice little fold out display. Perfect, nice. So not too, too extensive, which is perfect. I like that, so you don't have to sit there and read for you know hours on end just to try and figure out what the heck you're doing in the game. But here we go, we got some punch out. Looks like these are different uh, player boards, player, uh, just I guess cheat sheets or like how you're logging everything, how it goes, I don't know. So we got those punch outs. Again, I've not played this game. We just picked it up based on how it looks and uh, everything on the back. So got little hexes that, oh yeah, that look exactly like Settlers Catan, um, other games like that, but you got some different idols here and then a main idol. So obviously you're gonna be collecting different kinds of idols. I don't know if these idols are just your player markers or something like that, but you got like volcano marks, you got fives on here, sixes. So each of these is gonna be different, I don't know, like spaces you can move or like victory points you're gonna gain for getting on top of these. You got the different color tokens, again, different types of idols and stuff, I guess you're gonna be collecting throughout the game, but all different numbers on top of these pyramids here that are gonna be showing up as you discover different places. I don't know if these are all like, I guess I should look on the back side of these. So again, more different tokens. You got the Jade Necklace, you got the Golden Little Sun token, and you got, I'm guessing those are player tokens. But on the back, um, I guess you have like the, the Judge, I guess. Well, interesting. So let's, let's take a look here. So yeah, so all of them are like that. So it looks like all the, the actual tokens, the idols and stuff that you're gonna be having are, have this little idol symbol, the little guy Looks like he's sunbathing. He's nice getting a tan on and everything. But then you got like the judge token on the back and then these are just, I'm guessing, just places you're gonna discover as you go because you can have it all flipped over or whatever. But you got that. You got your player board here. This is gonna be huge, huge. All right, so it is a wow, massive board. This thing takes up the whole space if you can see it. All right, so there it goes. You obviously got point trackers off here on the outside. So it starts from zero, goes all the way up to 100. Nice, starting back at zero. So it's just, you know, going around. You got all the different hexes that it's gonna be sitting on where you're gonna discover new things. But pretty simple board as far as that goes. Um, let's see if I can figure this out here. How did I get this? Okay, there we go, perfect, okay. Huge board, but not a, not very extensive, which is nice. Bags for organization, which I always love. Love the organizing aspect of everything. In here, it looks like we got, of course, for freshness, you gotta throw that away. And then we've got different triangle. You got two for each color. I'm guessing we have orange, blue, white, and red as far as the players go. And these are just wooden, wooden triangles. Um, so similar to Catan the the wood painted wood and everything so there you go got triangles i don't know if that's like your home base that you're gonna be creating there but then you got each individual player Ooh, you got player tokens and i'm guessing these little squares are to track your victory points but let's see here open that up yeah just like little guys here you got them and then you got the little square to match the colors just a little cube here for tracking victory points I imagine. So you got that and then of course as we get into the individual players so there's the four different colors as I said before there's white, red, um, gold or yellow and blue but with that they're all just little tiny guys. The other ones these guys have hats on the the actual guys but the these little guys don't have a hat they're just a little person just a little dude Nothing special about them, but looks like you got a handful of those guys to mark probably on the board as you're exploring different things, where they go and what they're doing. And then you got your chieftain dude with the, his hat, the main explorer man. He's gonna be going his way. All right, so those are all the tokens and everything. And then we have in here some nice sturdy, these are like hard plastic, I like it, but they have the different numbers. I'm guessing they take the spot of whatever's actually printed on the board. But 
got a whole slew of them. So you got like the base, it looks like they're gonna be building up to a smaller one because you've got, yeah. So it looks like you got the base and then it goes up, and works your way up to building towers on top of here. And I'm guessing that they interlock. Let's see if we can find a piece that does. Yes, they do indeed. So you're gonna be interlocking, building up, um, but you got a whole bunch of those, but that's really it. There's no cards. I'm actually kind of surprised. I was thinking there was gonna be some cards in here for some reason, but it looks like you're gonna be building up temples, discovering different idols, going along your way, discovering the land and the layout of the land, of course, and then exploring more, figuring your way out, and boom shakalaka, you, you've got idols and victory points because of those idols, but I imagine a lot of this will come down to what your player boards here do uh, from like digging and like creating things to be able to collect more idols, things like that, but obviously you got to use your rule book to figure all that crap out. So there you have it for the unboxing of this game, Tikal. Looks exciting, I'm excited to play it. I've been getting into a lot of the adventure games a lot a lot more recently with the Lost Ruins of Arnak and like Lost Cities and stuff. And I really like this kind of style game and it looks right up my alley, so I'm really excited to give it a shot. But there you have it for this game unboxing of Tikal. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for all the notifications for our future videos. But we will catch you next time on Game Night Tonight.